Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good. Happy St. Patty's Day, by the way. I went out earlier today and got me a big-ass bottle of whiskey, and I will be celebrating today, tonight, tomorrow, Friday, Sunday afternoon. You get the idea. Um, however, before the festivities can officially begin, I need to address you, Rose Bush, one more time. I have to get some things off my chest. I feel like if I leave this whole issue behind me and I don't say these things to you, I'm going to feel like I fucked up. Like, like I, you know, they're, they're still going to have that weight on my shoulders. And if this were anyone else, I'd have just one started all your videos and not said a fucking word to you. But I actually, as I've said in my comments, do respect you. And I don't think that this is going to end well for you no matter which way you spin it. All right? Because, honestly, there's only two possibilities here. One, you're bullshitting everyone about telling the truth or you're telling the truth about bullshitting everyone. Those are the only two fucking possibilities. First possibility is, is that you actually did overreact and now you're trying to cover your ass, which isn't going to make you look good. The other possibility is is that you fabricated that whole fucking video in which you seemingly overreacted, and therefore you were dishonest anyway. So either way, you're going to look like a, a dishonest sack of soggy twats. Right? And I think you know that. I think you're intelligent. You worked that out. So I don't need to tell you. But what I will tell you is that let's say this whole little experiment story you're telling is the truth. I think you're far too intelligent to have done what you claim to have done in this 19-minute ha-ha, I got you video. I think you're, you're way fucking smarter than that. I really do. Um, you, you say that this wasn't ever really about churches and crackers and respect and courtesy. and It was never about any of the things that you said it was in that video. That was all subterfuge, right? What it's really about is the inability of a few YouTube atheists to handle simple criticism of their videos. So concerned you were with the comments you read in this comment section that you devised a plan to prove that some atheists couldn't handle simple criticism. Now, let me see if I got this right. Your plan was, okay, to not only criticize them, but to criticize them in a very baseless way that borders on making false accusations about their character and their actions, right? So basically you were going to distort the truth and criticize them with your distortion of it and get their attention and get them to react so you could prove that they could not handle regular, mild criticism. You see how that whole theory fails on its own, and, and really it escapes me how a person as intelligent as I think that you are could have sat down and thought about it that way and come to the conclusion that you could prove your theory, these atheists can't handle criticism, by assassinating their, their character and um, accusing them of doing things that they did not actually do. That's fucked up, Rose Bush. Um, and, and he said something along, uh, along the lines of, well, it got their attention, didn't it? <sighs> the word, duh, comes to mind. And I don't think that you had to perform this little experiment of yours in order to figure out that making accusations about the behavior of people that aren't really true and, 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 and that sort of thing, I think you already knew that would, that would get their attention before you performed this experiment to somehow prove they couldn't handle criticism. Now, I mean, the whole thing doesn't make any fucking sense, right? You, you then go on to say, <laughs> to describe your conversation with, with the peach. Now, i got to be honest with you. I have not read the PMs, and I have absolutely no interest whatsoever in reading the personal messages between the two of you or three of you or whoever. I don't give a fuck. Um, but, but you go on to say that as the conversation progressed, your replies became more childish, more idiotic, and Peach, being as fucking, you know, dumb as she is, she never caught on to the fact that maybe by making repeated, ignorant, childish comments, you were trying to prove some kind of point to her. 
how fucking foolish can anyone have been to think that somebody making a bunch of idiotic comments was really trying to prove a very profound and fucking relevant point to them. I mean, what the fuck is that, dude? Either way, this turns out, you've been in incredibly fucking dishonest here, Rose Bush, and I, I think it's only right that I knock you down a peg or two, because this is bullshit. The whole thing was fucking bullshit to begin with, and even if it wasn't, it still sucked. Either way, you've been dishonest. But that's not what gets me. You, you, um, what gets me is that you don't seem to understand, not even in this video that I'm responding to, that you did, in fact, create a monster, and that's the monster people were firing bullets at. You didn't create a, ha-ha, your video wasn't very funny monster. You created a, you can't laugh in church and you can't do that with the Eucharist because that's a discourteous monster. And that's the one that people like me were firing at. And, and now you want to give everybody shit for firing that monster. Now you want to tell everybody that it had nothing to do with that. Sorry, Rosebush. Fail, 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 and motherfucking fail. Um, I, I've always had a lot of respect for you. Quite frankly, a lot of that's gone now. I, I don't know. I, I, I have to be honest. A lot of it's gone. Um, I'm going to stay subscribed. Um, that's about it. Anyway. Meh. Cheers. Happy St. Paddy's Day, everybody.